Professor, we're, we're in your, your lab here at UCLA, and um, you guys are sitting sort of at the nexus of um, the emerging market of smart appliances in the home, charging infrastructure for vehicles, and the power providers themselves. Talk a little bit about how you're, you're doing research into those areas to try to make the smart grid smart. Research we're doing here is we, um, you know, we, we are creating uh, 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 monitoring and control networks that allow uh, a utility to to monitor what's going on with the different types of loads and to also uh, send control signals to loads to be able to, for example, do demand response. So to be able to, let's say, if it becomes very hot and the utility wants 10% load to be shed, they can send a signal. Uh, in the future to, 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 to the home of somebody and it, the signal can go into a gateway and then from the gateway it could go to, for example, uh, one of these appliances. Uh, this you see is some of the uh, information-based uh, uh, control for a refrigerator and then the signal would go here and the refrigerator could change its cycle. Right. So it could, uh, it could shape a load or it could shift a load to a different time of the day, uh, you know, because typically, you know, these, these sort of needs uh, might 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 only be for short term, uh, you know. Similarly, we have a, a dryer there, and you know, again, so that dryer is connected by way of a Zigbee wireless mesh network uh, to the internet, and in that, uh, uh, this is a standard off-the-shelf dryer, and we've created a little interface for that, and that uh, uh, can receive a, a data from a, wi a wireless gateway, and then it can again do the same thing. It can you know shift a load or you can shape the load to be able to respond to the utility's needs. So one of the key things in my research overall is uh, is that the consumer input is very critical. You know, uh, if you think about the grid, the, the word smart grid, I think the grid already has a lot of smarts in the sense it's very reliable when a part of the grid breaks down to, for the grid to come back up. You know, you know uh, we have a reasonable amount of technology to, to be able to make that happen reasonably fast, but what we don't have is we don't have the ability for the consumer to participate in these different types of programs. Right, right. And that's one of the key things I'm researching. It's called automatic DR. But it's automatic in the sense that the consumer has signed on and the consumer, you know, so, so you can do ahead of time automatic or you can do in real time. If you want to real time, maybe the, you could send a text message to the consumer and the consumer could say, okay, I, uh, I'm, I'm willing to accept this deal. I'm, I'm getting $5 or whatever. So again, but all of these have to be based on what the consumer is willing to accept and what they want and what they will eventually accept. So I think we're in the next few years, uh, you know, we are doing some research here on campus. So we have identified a couple of uh, residential halls where we will be taking this technology, installing it, let, getting the consumers to sign up and having these DR signals sent to their appliances. So we have, you know, we'll have different types of control tests where we'll have some consumers who, 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 who uh, you know, who, who don't have anything and some consumers who have these appliances and then they sign up and then, um, you know, we, then, then we measure based on what they were expecting and eventually see, you know, what people are expecting. Is, is that what, what they're getting? Uh.